Hey guys, what's going on? In today's video, we're going to be installing Race Drop Brace in the ZR. It does say OMP on it. I think it is a legit OMP Strop Brace, but they never made Race for the ZRs, as far as I'm aware. And from what I've found on Google, I'm pretty sure this is Astra G Race Drop Brace. And it's been made to fit a ZR. So, pretty much, what I'm going to do is super glue it there. And then it's structurally sound. I'm going to be cutting the carpets and that's where my rear wash bolt goes so it's going to be very close so I might have to remount that somewhere else. So uh, yeah let's start pulling some trim pieces apart and see what we can do. Inside this there is two nuts right there which is what the strut race mounts to. The nuts go in there and obviously the strut bolt comes through the bottom. Basically what I'm going to do I'm going to cut a flap at the bottom which I've already done on this side. I'm going to do one on the top so I don't have to cut a whole piece of carpet out because I'd like to keep some of the interior and undo those nuts which hopefully should come off easy and then do this side first and then do this side this side in theory should be easy because I'll somewhat know what to do the trim pieces out all I'm gonna have to do now is put the strut brace through the gap line it up with the top of the strut and then put the whole carpet assembly back together like put it back where it should be it has got quite a lot of leeway because obviously that's a lot bigger than a screw hole. I'm hoping it goes in alright and I don't have to just keep cutting chunks out. I have got three sets of these carpets I think so it's not a major issue if I fuck it up. I'd prefer to get it done right the first time if I'm honest. I want to decide whether I want the OMP on this side or the other side. I think I might put it facing towards the boot. I'm trying so hard not to break any windows. I'm going to put it facing towards the boot, so when you open it, that you can see that it's meant to be a nice piece. It's not that nice, but it's meant to be. It's somewhat in. Um, the only problem that I am finding is now the carpet won't go back on properly. But I think... That's just because of how all the trim and everything is lined up. So I don't want to take this whole plastic piece off to get the carpet back in because that would be far from ideal. But it's going to have to come back off anyway for me to properly tighten the nuts down when the other side's on. I've left them a little bit loose so I can get some uh, movement in it. And now I've got to take this carpet section out to pretty much do the same again. A hole in this side and you can't really tell but it lines up quite nicely. And it's weird because the carpets are moulded very differently, so I can't just somewhat copy and paste the cut from that side to that side because there's slight differences in the way that the carpet bends and stuff. So hopefully that works. If I need to cut a little bit to the side, I don't mind. So it fits. I never actually test fitted this when I bought it. I kind of bought it, picked it up, painted it because it's colour matched to the car, if any of you noticed and uh, stuck a sticker on it that says OMP because the old one was disgusting and I never test fitted it to see if it actually fit I should have probably done that in the first place but it fits so it, you know, winner I think my sticker is off centre which is annoying but I also, where is it, there I also chipped it which is also quite annoying so what I'm going to do now is just put the nuts on tighten them up and then worry about the carpet afterwards you can get a bar in that side a breaker bar just about get a ratchet and it's nice and tight this side has a little fucking tab thing here can't get a ratchet on it can't get an impact on it and you can barely get a breaker bar on it and it it's a fucking nightmare if i'm honest so i'm gonna spend the next hour tightening this up an eighth turn at a time strut brace is in it's nice i really like the fact that it's color matched to the car a lot of people just go black or whatever still really annoyed that I chipped it but you know it is what it is glad the OMP stick it is that way around because I think it'll look good when you open the boot when you're in the car this way it just looks upside down which is a tad annoying and I've got to trim the carpet a little bit because it doesn't sit perfectly flush to the floor anymore but overall it worked pretty simple I've never installed a rear strut brace I've done front ones but never a rear it's rigid it moves with the car which is good. So I am looking at a welding half cage um, currently, obviously no cage in it. This makes the rear end of the interior look a lot better. I need to change that trim piece because someone wood screwed it into the metal, which is annoying. But I've got a half cage, comes up to the B pillar and 
you know, all that jazz. It has an actual harness bar in it as well. Because I've seen people use strut braces as harness bars. Don't do that. It makes your harnesses not safe. Because if you get rear-ended, obviously, your strut bar's going to move. Your harness is not going to tighten up where they're supposed to. Where, obviously, if it's tied across one of the parts of the car that is quite structural, the middle, then you're safe. So, if you guys have enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe down below, as you always do. And I'll see you guys in the next bloody video.